Hello there! Today in this tutorial I will teach you how to crochet a rectangle base for your crocheted baskets or bags or for example rugs. You can use any size of the t-shirt yarn and any size of the hook. In my case here I use 7 9 mm t-shirt yarn uh, and a 7 mm hook. You will also need four stitch markers, a needle with a big eye, and scissors. I hope you will like that tutorial. And if you will still have any questions after watching this video, write them in comments and I will try to help you. And now let's start! So we start crocheting a rectangle with making chain stitches. As an example, I will make 12 chain stitches now, but you can make any amount of stitches you want. Uh, just remember, if you make more chain stitches, you will get in the end longer, but narrower rectangle. If you make less chain stitches, then you will get shorter, but wider rectangle. So to make the first chain stitch, we hook the working yarn, leave here a little tip, then we turn around our hook. Now we have a loop on the hook, then hook the yarn and push it through the loop on the hook. So we've started our chain and we've made the first chain stitch. It looks like V. This is the first chain stitch. So now make 11 more chain stitches the same way. Hook the working yarn and push it through the loop on the hook. Two, three, four, Twelve. And no matter how many chain stitches you've made in your chain, you always make one more extra chain stitch that we need to start the first row of the rectangle. So to make the first single crochet, we insert the hook into the stitch, chain stitch, but uh, to avoid little holes in the middle of the future rectangle, here we will also insert the hook under the bumps on the back side of our chain. So, here are these bumps, this one, this one, so we will insert the hook also under these bumps, like this. Then hook the yarn and take a loop. And make this second loop the same size with the one we already have on our hook. Then hook the yarn and push it through both loops on the hook. So we've made our first single crochet. For beginners I will show how it looks like. Here it has these two strands of the yarn, which look like V. And from the top, a single crochet also looks like V. So these two V together makes one single crochet. Let's make the second single crochet the same way. So we insert the hook into the next chain stitch and 
From the back side, we also insert the hook under this bump, as I told you before. Hook the yarn, take a loop, make it the same size. Hook the working yarn and push it through both loops on the hook. So here's the second single crochet. Uh, continue into the next chain stitch under the palm. Hook the yarn. Into the next one, So for now we've made 11 single crochet, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one more chain stitch left here. And now we will make five single crochet into this stitch. Five into one. So we insert the hook the same way. Hook the yarn, take a loop, and make single crochet, first single crochet. Now into the same stitch, into the same place, we make four more single crochet. So we again insert the hook into the same stage and make single crochet again. The second one. Now the third one into the same place again. Again into the same place, the fourth one and the last one into the same place. So we made five single crochet into the last chain stitch. We also can check it. One, two, three, four, and five. Four from the top. 
one, two, three, four, five. Now we will crochet the second part of the first row of our rectangle. The second part will look the same as the first one. So we will make the same single crochet in front of this single crochet that we made in the first part. And we will insert the hook into the same stitches where we inserted the hook when we crocheted the first part of the first uh, row of the rectangle. So we will get single crochet in front of single crochet, single crochet in front of single crochet, and the whole row like this. So insert the hook into the next stitch, this one, and also in this second part we will put this tip above our hook. So we would hide it under the stitches. Then we hook the working yarn, take a loop, and we make just a normal single crochet. So what we've got? Single crochet in front of single crochet. And the next single crochet we will make to the next stitch in front of this single crochet. The same way. Insert the hook. This tip we put above the hook. Then we hook the working yarn. And we make a single crochet. You see this tip we hide under single crochet, like inside them. Let's make the next single crochet. Let's the hook. And the next one here. And the last stitch left this one and the same as here we will make five single crochet into one stitch we already have one single crochet in this stitch it's this one the first one in this row this single crochet so we have to make four more single crochet into the same stitch Then into the same stitch, two, three, and four. And the fifth one is this one. It was the first single crochet of the whole first row. And all we need to do now is just to join this row here. For that we make this loop 
a little bigger. Now we need to insert the hook under the first stitch of the row. So this was our first stitch in this row. And we insert the hook under this stitch from the back side. Now hook this loop and bring it to the back side. Now insert the hook in the middle of the nearest single crochet to our loop, to this one. In our case, it's the first single crochet of this row. So we insert the hook in the middle of this single crochet between these two strands of the yarn. Like in the middle of this V. And from the back side it should also come in the middle of the single crochet. Now we need to hook the working yarn, but first we put it above the loop, this loop. Not like this, but above this loop. And we hook the working yarn and take a loop. Now we insert the hook into both loops, but from this side, this one and this one. And hook the working yarn and push it through both loops on the hook. Before we start crocheting the second row, we should place some stitch markers. So first find where we made 5 single crochet into the same stitch. So this one was the first one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are five single crochet. We should place the first marker on the second single crochet. So one, two, and the second uh, stitch marker on the fourth uh, single crochet. So this was the second one, the third one, the fourth one. So we've placed two stitch markers on the second single crochet and on the fourth single crochet of these five single crochet that we have crocheted into the same stitch. And on the other side we do the same. So first we find five single crochet that we've made into one stitch. Look, these are made in, uh, in front of each other. So these are those five single crochet that we made into one 
stitch into the same stitch so this is the first one and this is the second one so we place a stitch marker on the second one and then the third one the fourth one on the fourth one we place one more stitch marker and we start crocheting the second row of the rectangle in the second row and in all next rows we will insert the hook not under these stitches not like this we will insert the hook always in the middle of the single crochet of the next single crochet between these two strands of the yarn like this and from the back side it will look the same it will come in the middle of the single crochet So we make one single crochet into each single crochet from the first row until we get our first stitch marker. So insert the hook into the next single crochet from the first row in the middle of it, hook the working yarn, take a loop, again make this loop the same size as this one so it wouldn't be like this this is wrong and make a single crochet into the next one Always make sure that on the back side the hook comes in the middle of the single crochet too, between two strands of the yarn. So the next single crochet of the first row has a stitch marker. That means that we should make three single crochet into this single crochet from the first row. So we take off this stitch marker for now and we make three single crochet into the next single crochet of the first row. One, then the second one into the same single crochet two and the third one into the same single crochet So we've made three single crochet into one and we place a stitch marker again and we place it on the second single crochet. So we've made now three single crochet, one, two, three, and we place a stitch marker on the second one. One, two, three. Now, next single crochet doesn't have a stitch marker, so we make just one single crochet into it. A 
And now again, into the next single crochet from the first row, we have a stitch marker. And that means that we will make three single crochet into one. Into the next single crochet from the first row, we make three single crochet. One. The second one into the same single crochet from the first row. And the third one into the same single crochet. And again we place a stitch marker on the second single crochet. So here we made one single crochet, two, three. And on the second one we place a stitch marker. One, two, three. Now continue making one single crochet into each single crochet from the first row until you get the next stitch marker. And into the next single crochet of the first row, we see a stitch marker again. And that means we have to make three single crochet into the next single crochet from the first row. Three in one. Into the same single crochet, two, and into the same one, three. And we place a stitch marker on the second one. Now the next single crochet of the first row doesn't have a stitch marker, so we make just one single crochet into it. And the next single crochet of the first row has a stitch marker. So here we also make three single crochet into one. And the stitch marker we place on the second one, on the second single crochet. And here we already have a stitch into the next single crochet. For the first row we already have a stitch. So now we only need to join this row the same way as we did it in the first one. We make a loop on the hook a little bigger, then we insert the hook from the back side under the stitch of the first single crochet of this row. So this was the first single crochet, 
and under the first stitch of the single crochet we insert the hook from the back side. Then we hook the loop and bring it to the back side. Now we insert the hook into the nearest single crochet right after our loop, this one. So we insert the hook in the middle of the single crochet. Then we hook the working yarn, but first we put the working yarn above this loop. This loop. Not like this, but above this loop. And we hook this working yarn and take a loop. Now insert the hook from this side into both loops. And now we hook the working yarn and push it through both loops on the hook. So we've joined the second row and we've made the first stitch of the third row. But before we start crocheting the third row, first let's fix this hole. So from the back side, we need to push our tip under the stitches around the hole. My tip is very short, but I will write in the beginning of my video. I will write there uh, some words about making this tip longer in the beginning, so you wouldn't make the same mistake as me. And you push your tip under these stitches around the hole. I use a needle with a big eye for that. So do it until you are satisfied, until your hole disappears. And then just cut the rest of the yarn.
So now we don't have any holes in our rectangle. And we can start crocheting the third row. In the third row and in all next rows, we will do all the same. We will make single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row, except this single crochet where we have stitch markers. In all this single crochet where we have stitch markers, we will make three single crochet into one single crochet from the previous row. And you can make as many rows this way as you want. Depends on what the size of rectangle you want to get in the end. So let's make one more row with me. So first we just make one single crochet into each single crochet from the first, from the previous row, from the second row, until you get a stitch marker. So in the next single crochet from the second row we have a stitch marker and that means we make three single crochet into the next single crochet from the second row. into the same single crochet three and we place a stitch marker on the second single crochet now continue with one single crochet into each single crochet from the previous row until you get the next stitch marker The next single crochet from the second row has a stitch marker. So here we also make three single crochet into one single crochet from the second row. a stitch marker back on the second single crochet and continue making one single crochet into each single crochet from the previous row And here we have a stitch marker again. So into the next single crochet we make three single crochet. One, two, three. And we place a stitch marker on the second one. And the last stitch marker in this row. So in this row we make three single crochet into one single crochet from the previous row of the last time. One. 
two and three. And the second one. And we have finished the third row. We only need to join it here. After crocheting every next row, I also advise you to fix uh, your rectangle uh, by hands, especially its corners, like this. So it would have a better shape, especially corners. After we crochet the whole rectangle, we will also do the wet hot treatment uh, and our rectangle will become completely flat. Now let's join this row the same way as we did it before and crochet one more row. So we make this loop a little bigger. Now make single crochet into each single crochet from the previous row until you get the first stitch marker. Try to do it yourself. So now let's make again three single crochet into one single crochet from the previous row. Because here we have a stitch marker. And to replace a stitch marker again on the second single crochet. Now we continue till we we are near this next stitch marker. And again, we make three single crochet into one single crochet from the previous row. One, two, three. And place a stitch marker back. Now continue making one single crochet into each single crochet from the previous row 
until you you are near the next stitch marker and we are again near the next stitch marker so we make three single crochet into one And the last stitch marker we make again three single crochet into one one two and three finish the row we have finished this row now again fix the shape a little by hands especially corners Now, if you want to make more rows in your rectangle, uh, then just join this row the same way as we did before and crochet next rows uh, the same way, making three single crochet into each single crochet with the stitch markers. And when you crochet your last row, you will join it in different way. And now I will show how. First, leave a little tip here and cut the yarn then pull out this tip and to join this row I will use a needle with a big eye but if you don't have it you can also use your hook and first I insert my needle under the first stitch of this row, of the last row, like this. And now we bring this tip back into the same place where it comes from. So here's our tip, this one, and it comes from here, from this place, so we bring it back into the same place. And also you can insert the needle under this bump too.
So we just made the last stitch of the last row of our rectangle. Now all we need to do is just to hide this tip under the stitches from the back side of the rect rectangle. So just use the same needle and push the tip under the stitches in different directions. then cut the rest of the yarn. We don't need the stitch markers anymore. And our rectangle is ready. Now you can see that your rectangle is not very flat. That's why you should do the wet hot treatment and even better if you will put it under some press for several hours or for the whole night. And after that the rectangle will become completely flat and the shape will be just perfect. If you like this video, please leave your thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell not to miss my next tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you soon!